Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler, and today we have the CJRB Agave. And I happen to get this in aluminum scales, and let me just start off and say, don't. <laughs> don't get it in the aluminum scales. It, the knife is awesome looking. The action on it's just fine. I haven't done anything to this knife. Um, I've used it a little bit and you know, the centering's perfect. The action, the detent's great. It's not going to shake loose. Um, it, it, you know, you got awesome ergonomics right here. When you go up there, it's the same as the tie, the Tala. Actually, it's almost the same exact blade, almost the same exact everything. Um, you know, you got this, it's, it's a Warren cliff style sheep's foot ish, more of a sheep's foot than a Warren cliff, but the it, it the ergonomics are great problem with the aluminum scales i'm going to tell you right now i am scared to use this fucking knife because this thing is so slick i i i can't stress enough that i haven't really experienced a knife that isn't grippy enough until i've seen this knife um i know i'm starting it out with the bang whatever but I love the blade shape. I thought this was going to be one of my favorites. You know, D2 steel, you got this. It's a flat grind, just like every other CJRB that we, we were seeing. You know, um, it's got this deep carry pocket clip with the typical swoop. You know, it, but they also emphasized this pocket, this, this lanyard hole. The knife ends here, right at the stopper. But the lanyard hole is all the way up there. The whole reason this knife is so fucking tall. Hey. Did you just cuss at me? Did you say something? You got something to say? No? It's what I thought. Um, that's how we handle it in my house. Oh, okay. Apparently I lost. So, <laughs> so anyways, the it, it, it's, it's it, you add a quarter inch of this knife just to emphasize this lanyard hole. It sucks. And, and it's, it's. It's not that comfortable on hand once you get down to the bottom. If you're if you're gripping it down here, it, it pushes into your hand. And it doesn't hurt, but you're not going to do a lot of work. That's why this choked up position makes up for it. But you got this thing hanging out the side now. Like, oh, I, I don't need that. Um, yeah, so <laughs> there's your review. Let's get into some specs. And again, I, I, I haven't tested the G10 version of this. And, and for somebody who has... Please let me know. I, I I just I think the aluminum scales looked great, and I would love to modify them so that they're a little bit more grippy. But I don't want to take the time A and B. I kind of want to resell these knives once I'm done, and so I don't want to mod any knife that I'm planning to resell. Uh, I mean, unless somebody really wants it. Um, so specs, droning and droning and droning and four people unsubscribed. All right, so the blade stock is coming in at 120 thousandths. The behind the edge thickness, we are looking at, just like all CJRBs, about 20 thousandths. So not super slicey, but slicey enough. You know, it, it's, it could be worse. Trust me, it could be a lot worse. The handle width is coming in right at a half an inch. The height of this knife, it's not too high. 1.1 inch, eh, we'll go to the maximum, not including the flipper tab, about 1.2 inches. Let's do some overall length. And FYI, if you didn't watch my mini feldspar review, thank you so much, Justin Rowan, ah, for getting me this, uh, this, this Everyday EDC first piece of swag on the Everyday EDC channel. Let me broadcast this again. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. And like I was telling him, I kind of made my icon online like through some generator that I spent three hours trying to generate the right one. And it, it, it not a kudos to me, but it, that looks awesome. What Justin had done looks awesome. I, I just absolutely love it. So again, thank you so much, Justin. Kiss and ass time is done. So length of this knife is coming in at eight and a quarter inches. The blade length is coming in at three and a half inches, and the cutting edge is coming in at about three and a quarter. 
Now that these are the aluminum scales, it's probably going to weigh a little bit more than the G10. Even though aluminum is a lighter weight metal, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be heavier than G10. I could look up the specs for you, but I'm not going to. You can do that yourself. This is 4.1 4 ounces on the aluminum scales for the CJRB Agave. Now, let's do some comparisons. Whoa. Here is the feldspar. The agave is coming in a little bit overall length longer than the feldspar. The cutting edge definitely goes to the feldspar. Um, and part of that is because you have this long, it, it has this belly that curves out. This is more of the sheep's foot, almost straight edge right here. So you don't get as much cutting length. Plus, the forward finger choil on this one is much more pronounced than on a feldspar. So therefore, you're getting a lot less cutting edge on there. Plus, the overall freaking handle is longer because of the stupid lanyard hole down here. I don't mean to be blistering this knife. I just expected so much out of this one. Like, I was so excited for the agave, and it just... Ugh. So, here's the mini feldspar. Our feldspar sandwich. And just to throw out the CJRB Rhea. As you can see, the Rhea is dwarfed by the... Agave. The agave is not a small knife, guys. Anybody who thinks 3.5 inches is a small knife, you're either a very large individual or you're compensating for something. I would like to say I don't mean it, but I kind of do. So, uh, <laughs> dickhead. Uh, so here is the Rat Model 1. And here is your ProTech Newport. Rat Model 1 coming in at, honestly, almost the same size. It looks a little bit longer over the top, and it is in the handle. Uh, but the blade, you're getting a lot more cutting edge. It's kind of... Your PM2. Your Manix 2. It is just about the same length as the PM2 and the Manix 2. I mean, these are both a very similar length knife. But where the agave takes these down is the awkward carry profile, as everybody talks about. See, I almost dropped it right there. This thing scares the shit out of me. <clears throat> I cut myself enough. I don't need setup for failure at any given time. As you can see, it's much more sleek and slender than any of the Spydercos. Here is your Savivi Dogma. King Savivi! Uh, also being dwarfed by the agave. And your Savivi Duros. Duros. Savivi Duros. See, I screwed it up. That was the first time I screwed it up. I just talked about it in the last video. Obviously dwarfs the Duros, but the Duros has that big-ass blade on it. Kind of like the Praxis, if you will. Okay. So the Savi or CJRB Agave. Um... Deep carry pocket clip, ambidextrous, you can flip it on both sides. Got a lanyard hole here. It looks like recessed liners. It does have ceramic ball bearings. The pivot, like I talked about on the other CJRBs, I don't know why, but it's shaped like a D, but for some reason I've seen them spin on several occasions, so that kind of freaks me out a little bit. Uh, I don't know why. It doesn't freak me out, but I don't know why it happens. It, it shouldn't happen, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a budget brand, so I, I'm not going to fault it too hard for that, even though you're kind of defeating the purpose of a D-shaped pivot. Uh, these brass liner or these brass pivot liners, I, collars, I, I don't, I don't know. I think it looks kind of stupid on this model. You know, it, it, everything's silver and then you got this brass liner. It's like, eh, I don't know. All right. So you got T8, T6, T6, T6. Um, as far as hot spots go when you're carrying it, you can definitely feel the pocket clip. When you're choked up, it feels great. The ergonomics on this choked up are fantastic, uh, short of the slipping factor of the aluminum scales. Um, da, 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 da. And like I said, recessed liners, but they're not um, milled out. They are solid liners. Let's see if you guys can see that on the inside. Really can't get a view on it. So my overall thoughts on this knife... Um, I wish I would have got the G10 version. 
I feel like I could have given a better review of the G10 because at least it's not going to scare the shit out of me. Seriously, I'm holding this, right? And it's, it's slipping out of my hand. And you can see how tight I'm gripping it. Now, if I were to do that, let's just say, for example, with the mini felt bar, right? The G10 that's not super grippy. I, I'm not slipping at all. And I'm not trying to hold it. I mean, I mean I'm not trying to make it slip just for theatric, theatrics. It's If you're going to get the aluminum scales, do something with it. Plan to do something because <coughs> it is so slippery. And if this fucking thing gets wet, you're fucked. You're going to stab yourself, drop the knife, do something. I, this is dangerous, <laughs> in my opinion. I, I Just how slippery this is. I can't get over that. And I think it's because I was so excited for the aluminum scales, but it's fucking dangerous. Um, the blade shape, I, I love this blade still. I am in love with the sheep's foot blade and the ergonomics when you're choked up is is absolutely fantastic. And, it, you know, it, it is a slicier knife, just like every other CJRB, you know, the, the 20 thousandths behind the edge, the relatively three quarters to a full flat grind throughout, um, the blade stock coming in at 110 to 120 thousandths. You know, that they're all slicey enough. They are not laser beams. None of them other than the Rhea has been a laser beam. But you don't need a laser beam. We all want a laser beam. I want to take it and just, you know, shave some hair off my arms, which this can still do. You know, as you can see, dead skin, gross. Um, it can still shave hair off your arms. It, you're just not going to get that... <sighs> If you're cutting up fruit or, you know, I was doing it with a zucchini. I was cutting up a zucchini. This will break the zucchini halfway through. You kind of get stuck and it ends up, you know, wedging it off. Whereas the Rhea, you slice right through. But again, the Rhea is just like the McKenna, you know, similar to the X-Arc. The, the, the blade stock is so thin, it, it, that's where you get that from. This isn't something that you're going to do that with. Um, this could be a workhorse if, you know, this handle was grippy enough that you could... You could have this as a forever knife to do everything you need it to do. Um, medium range EDC tasks. Uh, don't, again, I can't stress it enough. Do not get the aluminum scales. Or if the CJRB person that keeps commenting on my videos, <coughs> please put some texturing on this. I'm not kidding when I say that this is freaking dangerous. Like it's slippery. It's, it's a slippery knife just sounds intuitively dangerous. Anyways, I am going to call it, uh, you know, take it for what you will. I love the blade. I, I kind of hate the scales and I hate the shape of the handle once, if you're not choked up on it, it just, you know, the, the PM, the PM2, for example, you can have this in your hand and it feels great. You don't feel any real hot spots. You can choke up. Every position feels good. Yes, this is a triple, quadruple the amount in price. Well, almost five times the amount in price. But I, th this this part right here just feels crappy to me. I, I, the lanyard hole sucks. Um, and I don't normally complain about lanyard holes. I just kind of mention them. And, and this one sucks. It's just the placement of it's garbage. I, I, I want to love this knife. This is a knife that I want to love, but I don't. Um... You know, if, if somebody wants to make me some freaking scales, <laughs> I might love this knife a lot more. Um, until then, you know, this is going to go in the sell it to whoever wants to buy a bunch of CJRBs for a dirt cheap price for me. Other than that, guys, that's all I got. This has been Everyday EDC. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this one was a little bit more negative. I just had high hopes for this guy. High hopes. You guys, stay sharp, stay safe, wear your fucking masks, respect other people, yada, yada, yada. Have a great day.